The United States has announced $2 billion $300 million in security assistance to Ukraine. And during a meeting with Ukrainian Defense Minister Rustem Umerov at the Pentagon, they discussed that the new package would include anti-tank weapons and missiles for air defense systems, including for the Patriot and NASM systems. Ukraine is not alone, and the United States will never waver in our support. Alongside some 50 allies and partners, we'll continue to provide the critical capabilities that Ukraine needs to push back Russian aggression today and to deter Russian aggression tomorrow. And I am proud that the United States will soon announce more than $2.3 billion in new security assistance for Ukraine. This package, under presidential drawdown authority, will provide more air defense interceptors, anti-tank weapons, and other critical munitions from U.S. inventories. It will also enable the United States to procure more Patriot NASAMs, uh, air defense interceptors, which will be provided on an accelerated timeline by the resequencing re re of deliveries for some foreign military cells. On July the 2nd, a Ukrainian delegation consisting of Defense Minister Rustem Umerov, head of the office of the President Andriy Yermak, and Deputy Prime Minister for Euro-Atlantic Integration Olha Stefanishina arrived in the United States. Issues of security and defense cooperation have become priority topics in Washington, Rustem Umerov emphasized. The main focus was air defense systems. We talked about when they would be delivered, on instructions from the president. He expects clear dates from us, how many systems, how many missiles, what systems there will be, and when they will be delivered to the troops. In Washington, the Ukrainian delegation discussed with the head of the Pentagon guaranteed financial assistance to Ukraine at the NATO level. According to the British edition of The Guardian, citing a State Department representative, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Andriy Yermak discussed at a separate meeting the intention of NATO members to bring Ukraine closer to the alliance. First of all, we talked about preparations for the upcoming NATO summit. It is important for us that the results of this summit are powerful for Ukraine. As Reuters writes, citing European diplomats, a week before the meeting of NATO leaders in Washington, the Allies agreed on Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg's proposal to finance military assistance to Ukraine in the amount of 40 billion euros in 2025. The decision should be officially approved at the summit of leaders of the bloc countries. According to Stoltenberg, this amount corresponds to the volume of annual Western aid to Ukraine since the beginning of the full-scale Russian war. Both partners and other countries guarantee that they will be able to collect a total of 40 billion for Ukraine in a year. This does not include American aid. The American assistance is separate. In this case, they are not in the share, so to speak. They have their own budget, their own decisions, Congress and so on. They make decisions on individual volumes and therefore assistance will come from at least two sources. They will give us as much everything as they possibly can give. According to the New York Times, at the 75th anniversary NATO summit in Washington, they will announce the creation of a new structure to coordinate all types of assistance to Ukraine in the long term. In addition, the leaders will discuss the creation of the post of special representative in Kiev. Their main mission will be control and coordination of international arms supplies and training of the Ukrainian armed forces under the auspices of NATO. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Christina Dombrovska, UATV News.